Good evening once again, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the House of Study, where we study to show ourselves approved, a workman, one unto Yah, one who needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. I so hope that I've been encouraging you to study to show yourself approved. It's very important, as I continue to say on most programs, that it is your responsibility to examine the scriptures. To verify what I'm teaching or wherever you are studying there, whatever church you're going to, and you are to verify what the leaders are saying to make sure that, that it, is, it is true and it is biblical and not man-made tradition. Because it is the truth that make you and I free. And whom the Son set free is free indeed. Amen? I want to talk about a, a word today uh, that's really not a popular word today, but... It's a word that is necessary, necessary, because uh, if we're going to have what I would call revival in the land, revival in, in our churches, or our congregation, this word cannot be ignored, my beloved. This word cannot be ignored. And the word that I'm dealing with today is going to be the word repentance. Yes, I said it. The word repentance. It's a necessary. If we're going to have revival break out in the land, there must be true repentance. Now, now I know that when you hear the word repentance, it's not really a popular word. And many people say, well, it's just a turn and stop doing. No, true repentance is to go back to Yahweh ways. It's not to repent and go another direction. No, true repentance is, is starting with the heart. It's dealing with, with sin in your life and my life. I want to look at John, uh, not John, the book of Matthew chapter 3. Let's look at uh, uh, what John the Baptist, when he came on the scene. What were some of the words that came out of his mouth? If, if you have your Bibles, and I hope you do today, it's uh, Matthew chapter 3. We're going to start in verse 1. Remember, the, the word that we're dealing with, if we're going to have true revival in the land, this word cannot be ignored, my beloved. The word, it says in chapter uh, 3, verse 1, In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in, well, the wilderness. The wilderness is it, a dry place. But he's preaching, and people are coming out to him. When you look at the world today, it's, the world is like a wilderness. But you need to preach repentance so that in the wilderness you can still have life. Because of true repentance. So John is preaching in the wilderness. Verse 2 said, and, and, and this is what John began to preach. He said, and saying, repent. Repent. Why John? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John is saying that the kingdom of heaven is, is at hand and you and I need to repent. This word repenting is the Hebrew word shub. The word shub, it means to, to turn or to go back. But I love how the word is used in ancient Hebrew. It, the word in ancient Hebrew is a, is a shim. A shin and a shin and a bet. Now the word shin, the meaning of the word shin, it means fire or it means to destroy. And the word bet in ancient Hebrew is a picture of a house. And so it's a house. So when you look at the word repentant, it means to destroy the house. Are you hearing me? See, true repentance is to destroy the house where you come from, where you came out of it. Whether it was drugs, prostitution, homonging, stealing, whatever the house that you came out of. You had to destroy that house. If not, my beloved, then what's going to happen when you get bored, ain't got nothing else to do? What you're going to end up doing is going back to that house that you came from. Why? Because you did not truly destroy the house you came from. True repentance is destroy the house. That, that's why you find many brothers and sisters end up going back to their sin. But they call it backsliding. No, you just slid right back into the house. You never destroy it. So true repentance from the Bible perspective is to destroy the house you come from. Amen. So we see that John the Baptist was preaching in the wilderness. What, what was he preaching? Repent. Repent. 
for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Verse 3 says this here, For this is he that was spoken by the prophet, saying, The voice of, the, of one crying in the wilderness. What is John crying? What is John crying? I know he said repentance, but listen what else he's crying. If you want true repentance, if you want Yahweh to come into your life, this is what John is saying. Prepare ye the way for Yahweh. Prepare his way. He's coming. Are you preparing the way? Are you preparing the way? Are you still holding on to sin? Are you still holding on to that old uh, uh, addiction? See, true repentance is burning it, getting rid of it. Not holding on to it and just saying, oh, I'm sorry, I confess it. But you ain't never let it go. No, my beloved, true repentance is destroying that old habit, destroying that old house, that old addiction. Why? This word, uh, 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 repentance, is used uh, even for the word captive, one who's taken into captivity. And what they would do in the ancient days, when they took uh, 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 people into captivity, they would raid the village, and they would take the people into captivity, and what they would do, they would allow the people to see their houses burn and destroyed. They would do it right in front of their eyes. So when the people saw they, their house was, the, was, to, uh, was burned up and their house was destroyed, it was the idea that the people would have nothing to go back to. So the people would automatically just surrender to their captivity. And so when you destroy your old house, then you will be able to surrender to the King of Kings, Yahweh himself. But until then, you, you won't truly surrender to Yahweh. Because you'll always, when you get bored, you have the desires, and then you end up going back to that old house, that old relationship, those old friends, because you haven't destroyed it. You gotta destroy the bridge that keep taking you back to the old house, the old sin, the old uh, 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 habits. It must be a destroyed. You must, you must destroy the habit. That's what I'm saying. You must destroy the habit. Listen what this here. He said, "Prepare the way." You got to prepare the way for who? Yahweh. Prepare the way for Yahweh. He's coming. And then he said, make his path straight. Now if you like me, before I met the Messiah, my life was crooked. It was all crooked. But John said, now you got to repent. So I repent for Yahweh and I began to make his path straight. You got to straighten out those crooked errors in your life. You got to straighten it out. Discipline yourself. Get away from that TV that, that's pumping in filth to you. Get away from that, that filthy music that's producing lust in you. Get away from those filthy friends that are not clean, they're unclean.